Yo, what's good, YouTube? So here we go with another one. Um, not gonna bore you guys with the with the disassembly. This is another charger. It's a second gen, so it's the older model before the new ones. But uh, everything they make is the same. The door handles are literally the same. Uh, all the window trims that I took off, the tail lights, it's all pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, 2013 charger. Uh, this one is pretty banged up. Um, customer pretty much just wants to cover all these uh, minor scratches or surface scratches like all over the body there's these types of scratches and they're not deep so you know you can't feel them he just wants to cover them up instead of getting like a paint correction or whatever so uh he's not doing anything crazy but he is doing half and half so uh car's gonna be split in half down the middle it's gonna be half gloss white half gloss black so you know i try to convince him uh, or I couldn't convince him to, you know, pick any metallics or cool color. He just wanted to keep it simple. That's perfectly fine. Just like the Durango I did, you know, all these, these are the types of cars that you love to ride because, um, it's going to look like a brand new car. Um, uh, this type of dent, obviously I explained to him, it's not going to come out. It's still going to show, but he's more worried about like the surface scratching, all these marks, you know what I'm saying? Um, the door handles were plastic dipped. I already, uh, took all that off. Um, I still got to do the badges and I'm thinking about doing, taking off the front bumper to make my life a little easier. Uh, cause I looked it up online and it's pretty easy. So we'll see. Hood, uh, the hood windshield washer things are taken out and the typical shit. A couple spots like this where I sanded. And yeah, I mean, cars, like I said, it's banged up uh, as far as the paint condition goes, uh, but we're going to get it looking right. So uh, this was the most, uh, this, this part had the most damage, paint was flaking off. So I had to run the paint flake all the way to where it would stop and then smooth it out it's as smooth as possible. I'm no body shop, but... It's as good as it's gonna get from me. Uh, so yeah, half white, half black. He told me he does not care which side is um, white or black. He says surprise him. So we're gonna get to work on this thing. Uh, gonna finish up the disassembly today, take the door handles out. And like I said, maybe the bumper, and then we're gonna get to chopping on this thing. Um, I'm gonna try and knock it out. <laughs> in about four days because it is a stock body the wide body is like the last one i did it takes a pretty long time with all the extra wide body flares and everything so uh this one should be fairly quick <laughs>
Yo, what's good, YouTube? So, finally done with this thing. The Two Face 2013 charger. Um, yeah. One half gloss white, one half gloss black. Right down the middle, as you can see. You know, there's not many of these driving around. I know there's people that do it, but this is the first one I've done. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, so yeah, as you guys know before, the car used to be white and uh, pretty much he just wanted a gloss white just to cover up all those, those the marring and the scratches and how, you know, that paint looked terrible. Obviously it's not gonna cover up the dent, but uh, yeah. So I have to put the taillights and spoiler back on waiting on the spoiler to dry. Other than that, you know, the usual. Everything came out beautiful. Uh, I'm surprised, honestly, that it came out as good as it did. I only had one uh, problem. It was on the back bumper, where while I was wrapping, some of the clear coat and paint came off because uh, I could just tell this car has been repainted probably not even once. So, you know, the paint was in terrible condition. Uh, and it just looks like brand new. Um, yeah, I'm, su I'm just surprised that it, it, I didn't run into a lot more problems because of just how the paint looked. Um, the bumpers, obviously, you know, when you do that big piece and somewhere in the middle or something, the paint comes off and it won't stick, there goes a $100, $150 piece in the garbage. So, um, yeah. Everything's back together other than a door handle and that I gotta fix because it's the screws turned. And like I showed you the spoiler and the taillights. So this one's done out of here tomorrow.